COVID mRNA vaccines. Wow, this is a, a controversial topic. And uh, it all, like, uh, my name is Diamond Fernandez here. I'm from the HeartFit Clinic here, your leaders in heart health. And, you know, COVID vaccines and COVID, and uh, we're all concerned about these things as how it relates to heart disease. And that's what this uh, quick video is going to talk about. But before I do that, I, I want to explain a little bit of the background to this. And so there was an article that came out uh, a couple weeks ago, and it talks about how the mRNA, it was an abstract that came out, and it talks about how the mRNA vaccines dramatically increase endothelial inflammatory markers and acute coronary syndrome. So endothelial is the inner lining of the artery wall and acute coronary syndrome, which is heart attacks and strokes, as measured by one of the testings that we do in the clinic here. And so this, this covid is a big problem to the endothelium. And I'm gonna explain uh, that to you here really quickly. So no talk of mine gets completed without, uh, without talking about these arteries are a muscle, not a pipe. Many people think that cholesterol accumulates to a pipe and you have a, a last piece of pizza and you end up with a heart attack and it does not happen that way. These arteries expand and contract. And so when we look at these arteries, you can see here that uh, coming off the heart, these arteries, have a muscular component to it. And that's where the blood is flowing right through there. And so when I zoom in on it, this is what's going on. So I'm gonna stop here and explain this for a moment because these arteries are a muscle and not a pipe. And if you don't believe me, and, and if any doctor tells you that it's a pipe, um, maybe consider trying to get another opinion because you can feel them. You can feel them in the neck, you can feel them in the wrist, you can feel them expand and contract. And if I attached all these arteries together, gosh, it would go around the world a few times. Like that's how many arteries you have. What we're, ha we're talking about is you can see that endothelium. So we talked about that in the abstract. That endothelium is a lining of skin. And that lining of skin, there's hundreds of things that can damage that lining of the skin. Think of it like a, a, a road. And imagine it that you can put potholes into this road and it can damage it. And this is where you can start to process and build up artery disease that happens inside the lining of the artery wall. But remember, these blood vessels go everywhere in your body. Remember, it will go around the world a few times. I think that's how many arteries you have. So the body is always healing itself from poor nutrition or stress or negative exposure. There's literally hundreds of things that can insult the artery wall. And the constant insult are a problem. The comp a compound effect of putting these insults in, what, we're, what your body is trying to do is always heal it, right? They're always trying to heal those patches in the road so that we can see a smooth, a highway and allow that artery to expand and contract like it's supposed to. So we know that COVID is an endothelial disease and can lead to heart disease. So endothelium member is the inside lining of the artery wall. And that lining can get damaged from COVID. I had COVID. I had COVID last month and uh, I managed to go through a while and I'm also protected. And so to be protected, you know, one of the ways to be protected is to get a vaccination and vaccinations are important to protect from COVID. However, from this circulation uh, abstract that came out, that the vaccines can cause a damage to the endothelial wall. And we're seeing this a lot in our clinic and we're the compound effect of what happens. And gosh, we went through lockdowns and the stress of that. And then when we add a vaccine to us, it, it can lead to like too much injury to the artery wall. So the healing of the artery wall starts now, whether you've had COVID or if you've been vaccinated, I think now becomes more important than ever to focus on healing the artery wall. Whatever the past is, if you've been vaccinated or have had COVID, that's the past. Now is the time so that we can focus on the future to prevent heart attacks and strokes. So now is the time to heal the artery wall and prevent and even perhaps reverse heart disease. And that's what we do at the HeartFit Clinic. That's where we can help you further. And we look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.